Jumping right into our seated sequence, inhaling our hands up over our head, exhaling down to prayer. Again, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Taking a moment to set an intention for our practice in this awesome powerlifting gym. Shaking it out, getting some movement in our spine. Fighting our feet hip width apart, checking in with our knees. Tailbone tucked down to the floor. Core tight, shoulders back and down, hands to the side, crown of the head up towards the sky. Taking a moment here in Tadasana, mountain pose. A few breaths. And relaxing and shaking it out again. Dancing around, jamming out to the music. Bringing our legs far apart from each other, hands on our hips. Doing a little bit of movement in our hips, back and forth, your pace. Heel toe, heel toe, back in to standing position and making our way to our seats. Finding that space in our spine, taking a moment to breathe. Stepping over to the side so you can see my posture, hands interlaced in between, pulling back, heart up towards the sky, taking some deep inhales and exhales here. Hands thumb to hand, squeezing in together from some isometric, and people walking in front of me. Anyways, that's what happens when you do yoga in the powerlifting gym, shaking it out, repositioning, pushing against each other for a five second hold and release, moving with the breath. We'll jam it out to some Aussie. Five, four, three, two, one, really. Small movement, a very big purpose. Shaking it out again. Now bringing our hands together, cupping our fingers around, pulling apart this time for five seconds. Pull five, four, three, Two, one, and release. Breathing in through our nose and out through our nose as we are pulling our hands apart. One more person walking by. And regroup. Shaking it out. Bringing our ankles at 90 degrees, knees at 90 degrees, rolling the shoulders back and down. Taking a moment and crossing our legs at the ankles. Performing an isometric movement again, where we're pulling in. Five, four, three, two, one, and releasing. Doing this at your own pace. Following along. Uncrossing and recrossing the other way. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. 
contracting for five seconds. Releasing. Uncrossing the legs now. Ankles at 90, knees at 90. I'm tapping it out. Finding that space again. Extending the leg out and releasing. Extend, release. Matching it to our breath. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, release. Tapping it out and moving on to the next leg. Concentrating as we squeeze at the top and relax as we release. For a side view now. Keep going guys, matching the breath to the movement, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Shaking it up, regrouping, chewing my gum. Step two, bringing to the edge of our chair. Step three, checking in for some more isometric movements, hand on each side of our legs, pressing them out, away, and into our hands, holding for five seconds, and release, one, two, three, four, five, and release. Shaking it out. Hands now on the inner parts of the legs. Pulling our legs in towards our hands. Holding for five seconds. And releasing. Do these with a purpose. Pressing into those hands with those legs. Taking it out, couple shoulder rolls, inhale, exhale, recentering, shaking it out, bringing our hand up and over to the opposite leg, hand behind our head, chest nice and open, opening that chest open towards the ceiling as we turn away. And exhaling to neutral, taking the other hand across the body, bringing the hand behind our head, checking in with the chest, and opening it up towards the sky. A few breaths here. And shaking it out again. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And bring it back to center. Shaking it out. And doing the other side again. Making sure to open that heart center. Shining bright up towards the sky. Shaking it out. Recentering, bringing the palms of our hand out and tapping each tip of our fingers together. Focusing on our breath, inhale and exhale, 
straighten it out. And time for the other hand. Bringing the arm to the side and taking the arm across the body and bringing it around and down. The opposite hand now, around and down. Inhale, press. Exhale, bring it around. Inhale, press. Exhale, bring it around. A couple more at your own pace. Shaking it out. Rolling those shoulders back. Bring your legs out in front, stretched out to as far as you can. And redoing it all over again. Inhale up. Exhale the heart center. Walking our hands down to our feet. Stretching but not over stretching. Inhaling and exhaling as we forward fold in the seated position. And rolling back up. Inhale up. Exhale, prayer center. And walking our hands down to our feet. Inhale and exhale. Rolling it back up and bringing our ankles and knees back to 90 degrees. Turning our head to the side and to the other side. Inhaling and exhaling as we go. Now shaking our head yes and no. Trying not to overextend as we bring our head up. Our cervical spine is very sensitive. Shaking it out, finding our center again. Arms out to the side. And time to take a twist. Finding that space in our spine and looking behind, taking four breaths here into the nose and out through the nose. On your next exhale, returning to neutral. And taking a hand to the other leg and taking a twist. Breathing in deep through the nose. And exhale through the nose. And one more time. Purposely breathing into our bellies, massaging those organs as we twist. Exhale to center, inhale, and exhale off to the other side. Bringing it back to center, shaking it out again, doing some nice spinal movement, whatever your body's asking for. Inhale and exhale over to the side. Inhale up to the top and exhale to the other side. Doing a few more of these at your own pace. out for a second. Moving our way back to the back of the chair and taking a few moments to yourself 
Nothing but rest here. Nothing left to do. Shavasana. Inhaling, exhaling, namaste.